don't know, but they have some beautiful architecture. Oh, it's gorgeous. That's that's what one of the Mexican restaurants. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> we just had to do that. <laughs> Welcome in, everybody, to my chamber TV. <laughs> that, that was a setup, I know. It must not be working. Uh, exactly, <laughs> right? <laughs> anyway, welcome into My Chamber TV. It's the wild and crazy, fun West Pasco Chamber of Commerce, in case you can't tell already. I'm your host, Barbara Marville, and with me is my co-host every single time, Paul Friedlander. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having us here. And we have the Prez today. We were honored with the Prez today, Mr. Chip Wickmanowski. Thank you. The area is secure. <laughs> and Mike Giselle. Who sent me the most beautiful birthday card this past week? Thank you very much. You're welcome, Barbara. So I'm not going to do so much talking because you guys have a lot to say, a lot going on. Usually you're in the last segment, the fifth segment that we but do. But this is so important. We're I going know. Number one today. We couldn't. We couldn't wait. So uh, it's all about you guys. Come on. Just we're here for a couple of reasons. I know Obviously, you are. The most important one is it's time for the Cody River Bike Fest. It is time. This is the beautiful guide that's produced by our friends across the street here from Heron Publishing and Visual Spectrum. But it is uh, Cody River Bike Fest time. Come rain or shine. Rain or shine. You bet. No, we're going to have beautiful weather. We it's, are. It's going to be Chamber of Commerce weather. But I brought Mike along because Mike Chainsaw Chisel, that's his biker name. <laughs> okay. You can tell what a biker he is. <laughs> 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 Not pirate. Oh, no, that's a pirate. <laughs> no, that's a, wrong show. That's a different show. <laughs> Mike is chairman of the Bike Fest Committee. Really? This is, he's finishing up his second year as chairman, and he's done an outstanding job. Um, uh, not that Steve Sherdell didn't, but Steve was the first chair since mm -hmm. since we brought back the Bike Fest. Mike has done the last two years and done a great job, and it's nice to have him along. He'd like to talk to you a little bit about what some of the events that you can go to would if you come to, down to would Sims to Park in beautiful downtown Newport Ritchie, the most biker-friendly city. You mean right behind us? Absolutely. Right, yes. right here. Yeah. This is the heartbeat of downtown Newport, Richard. Thank you very much. Yes. Well, I'll tell you a little bit about the bands while Mike's looking up his script. <laughs> 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 and by the way, my biker name is The Suit. The Suit. The yeah. Suit. Yeah, because I don't, I don't ride. I, 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 they say terms I don't understand, so they call me The Suit because somebody's got to be the money man behind everything. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, so I I'm see. The Suit. Okay. They're not suing me. Oh. oh. Okay. But anyway, we've got some great things going on this You weekend. usually do, every every year. Yeah. Uh, first of all, I'd be remiss if I didn't thank my wonderful staff back at the Chamber office, including Paul, our office mm -hmm. manager, Michelle Anderson, our uh, fr front office coordinator, the lady in charge of our first impressions, Kim Liberty, but our event coordinator, who is all of our events for the Chamber, but also the event coordinator for Bike Fest, and that's Liz Meismer. She's done an outstanding oh, she's job a, for she's a first She's a rock year. star. Yes, yeah, she's awesome. a rock yes. star. She's the yes. Lizinator. She's the Lizination. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. But we have four presented by sponsors this year. It's bigger and better than ever, so we're really excited this year. We have uh, the Franhaus Law Group, we have Team Farrell, Suncoast Credit Union, and Harley Davidson Newport Ritchie. So we've got some phenomenal presented by sponsors and a ton of other sponsors. We'll I'll probably mention, try to mention most of them here. But Absolutely. Mike, so tell us about the entertainment. You want to be entertained this weekend, folks? <laughs> you come on down to Newport <laughs> Ritchie because this guy's got it for you. Well, thank you for asking, Chip. Thank you for telling us. Is there any entertainment going on? Yes, we have tons of entertainment. <laughs> folks, we have two stages of bands playing Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, starting Friday at 5 o'clock. We have a stage in beautiful downtown Sims Park and also one on Grand Street. Well, whose stages are those, Mike? Yes, they are the Team Farrell thank you, thank stages. You. So thank you, Team uh, Farrell, for sponsoring the stages. On Friday night in the park, we have the Bearded Brothers, followed by the Van Halen Tribute 1984. Mm. In downtown stage, the Team Farrell downtown stage, we have Edge of Reg, Sherry Whitmer, and then also we have Pitbull Toddler. Now, I've never heard of Pitbull Toddler before, but I hear Barbara, they are a great band with a big following, and I believe the... That's Cowheads, if anybody knows who Cowhead, Cowhead is. is. He's in the yep. band. This is his band that he plays in. Cool. That's for Friday. Saturday, we had the Bell of the Bands winner called Spinlock playing opening. What we did this year, Barbara, is we had a Battle of the Bands at Guild Dog Marina, and what happened is, as the winner of the six bands was the opening band for our Saturday event. So, so what's happening is, is we have the winner of the Battle of the Bands called Spinlock opening for us, along with tons of entertainment all day Saturday, all day Sunday. But the big news is Jack Russell's Great White is the feature band on Saturday night, 8 
I'm sorry, 9 p.m., starting 9 p.m., Innocence Park. So if, we're and, very happy. And if you're once bitten, you'll be twice shy. That's <laughs> one of their favorite <laughs> songs. One of their favorite, very popular songs, Once Bitten, Twice Shy. How fun is that? I, I don't know how you get wrapped. When do you start doing this? Right immediately we following? Started in the, February. We February. start early, yes. I was going to yes. say, I mean, with all that's going on, that's amazing. Yeah, we'll wrap up. We'll do, <laughs> we'll do some kind of follow wrap up meeting in, in November, and then we take a couple of months off, and then the committee gets geared up again. But we've got some tremendous entertainment. <coughs> Excuse me. And, and also, you know, we couldn't do this without our great committee. We have. Uh, especially uh, Tina Farrell and also Tom Carbononi. They really spearheaded with the, the vendors and the entertainment and what's going on. Also, we have a lot of shows going on, too. We have bike shows. We have Jerry Palladino, the gentleman who does all the bike, uh, showing you how to properly uh, turn and do all the safety features. We also have the Venom bike show. The stunt show is going on all day Saturday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We have the Roman Pumlet. Boo. The Roman plum, <laughs> plumbing, plumbing, <laughs> easy for you to say. Wrestling going on Saturday and Sunday, and then also we have um, a bike show on Saturday and Sunday, along with our fire and iron. The yeah, we have to get serious because yes. well, for all, don't forget we do have the Guild Dog Bikini Contest. You don't want to miss that. And That's if you, it. And yeah. if you need your motorcycle washed. Come on out to the Harley Davidson Bikini Motorcycle Wash. It'll be taking place right outside this building. Uh, but we do get serious because we have a charity of choice for the Bike Fest, and that is the Fire and Iron Station 43. It is their motorcycle club, mm -hmm. and all of the proceeds that they make, they, they man all of our beer tents, and they do the poker run, and the proceeds from all that go to support the Florida Children's Burn Camp. Oh, wonderful. And they do some great things at that burn oh, camp, providing kids that have been terribly burned mm -hmm. to be able to attend and, and get some therapy, but at the same time, get have a lot of fun and get to do things they might yeah. not ever be able to get to do. Boy, you bet. So we're very happy to have them Absolutely. help us out Fantastic. with that. That's incredible. That's yeah. why we. That's why you guys are at the heartbeat of this community because not only having fun, but raising funds for such. You know, great charities like that. Thank you so much. Bless you, Barbara. And speaking of bless you, we are having a blessing of the bikes at Our Lady Queen of Peace, 10 a.m. Saturday morning. Yep. By the way, the poker yes. run registrations 10 to 1 with the last bike out at 1 o'clock and the last bike in at 5 o'clock back here at in the Sims in Sims Park. There's just a lot of great things going on. I can't believe it. Uh, it it's going to be amazing. Um, we've got close to 100 <laughs> vendors throughout the park and throughout the downtown area. We've got a lot of the business partners downtown mm -hmm. that are supporting us. And f people have to remember that we do have the downtown area as a wet zone, meaning that you can travel from bar to bar in the park back and forth with your beverage of choice, nice. as long as it's in a red solo cup. Yes. And, there you go. Uh, well, there you I go. shouldn't say your beverage of choice, but, but no one's gonna go in and sniff your cup. Um, but the other thing is we do have, as far as uh, making sure people understand that we close the downtown to traffic on Friday at 2 o'clock. It becomes, at that point in time, motorcycle traffic only, except for the occasional vendor vehicle that must get in. Yes. And anybody that might live in the very immediate area, like the people around Circle Boulevard here who, who have to get to their homes, etc., I guess we'll let them in. You guess. You yeah. guess. Well, it's going to be buzzing around downtown yes. here. We are really, expecting, big hopefully, time. Barbara, 30 to 40,000 people. I was year. just going to ask yeah. that. So yeah. exciting. Where are we putting them all? Maybe even more. And let me tell you something. We would be remiss if we didn't thank the great city of Newport Richards. Yes. Yes. Mayor Marlowe, the city council, city manager Debbie Manns, the entire staff, the yes. departments, the cooperation and support we get from them is phenomenal. But Sims Park is absolutely beautiful. Yes. I tell you, every time I drive by there, it's right directly behind our studio here. Every time I come to work, leave work, I enjoy everything about that park. Just you know, looking yep. off to the side, but walking it with the with the lakes in there and just the, oh, it's, it's mm -hmm. I can't believe it, what has been done. So it's great to get your own way, right? When, right. You, when you go to the city for things, huh? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. When you come downtown for this event, folks, you don't need to worry about having dinner before you get here. There's plenty of food, both at our downtown restaurants mm -hmm. And downtown eating establishments yes. as well as in the park uh, and just so much fun um, other than and if you need a place to stay we got a lot of hotels up and down 19 that are that are, qual that are qualified as our official hotel sponsors so exactly we we really do look forward to a great great event uh, we hope that everybody puts their garbage into the proper spot and we have 25 recycling containers as well so we're we're all about recycling as well yes. it's gonna be, it's you gonna really be have time. you have a down pat everything is so organized and I you know what if you want something to do, come on down because you're going to have a blast. Yep. 
You're going to have entertainment, food, drinks, and these guys are going to be out and about and entertaining everybody. Yes. So we're going to go ahead and continue to invite you through to this weekend right here in downtown Newport Ritchie. We are with the West Pasco Chamber of Commerce. Thanks a lot, guys. No, thank Barbara, you for having us, Barbara. So have Happy fun. Happy birthday, Barbara. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Marvelous oh. birthday. <laughs> We'll Very see you good. downtown this weekend, Barbara. <laughs> we'll be right Our back. Our friends at Tampa Bay Multimedia will be there. That's right. I know they will. Yes. We'll, we'll be right back. Thank you. Thank you. seclusion in an eco-lover's paradise. Paddling through the mangroves where the only sounds you'll hear are the sounds of nature. Because you deserve to relax on vacation, visit Pasco County, Florida. Here? Yep, absolutely. Oh, we're on. Don't you think he's like the, one of the nicest Are we on? guys? We're on. I didn't even hear anything. <laughs> this is a crazy show today. Hey. Oh, oh my gosh. Welcome Hi to the We're just here having what? fun talking as usual. What can I um, say? I'm your I'm your co-host Paul Freeland, and I'd like to introduce my host Barbara Marville. That doesn't Kelly. know what she's doing and at the today moment. Today is the first Wednesday of the month, and we are here with the West Pasco Chamber of Commerce and the awesome Miss Marilyn Deshaun. Am I really on? You are really you, you on. You really are. Oh. How about it's okay. It's okay. We're, good. We're just having one of those fun, like, unscripted chamber shows. That's How's right. that? Oh, really unscripted. A really unscripted. I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> Well, thanks for having me here. Folks. You know what? Marilyn and I go back how many, so many years. Yeah, so quite a few. many years. I can't remember what it, what was I working in the downtown program when I, I first met you. Or? Well, I know that you had been, mm -hmm. and I think you had come to one of our classes or something. I did, and I saw your husband speak. And and, and, and yeah. since then, though, mm -hmm. I mean, we seem to cross each other's paths, and it's such a delight. You've been to so many different events here, but you actually <clears throat> helped to 
like rebrand <coughs> and remold yep. this whole downtown area? Well, um, that was back in uh, the late 80s when I got involved, and then I helped the city win the Main Street designation yep. through the state through the you know state of Florida yes and then um, we created this uh, it was called the Newport Ritchie Community Cooperative and yeah those were fun days and it started the whole downtown streetscaping and incentive programs for the buildings and yeah. sidewalks you name it and then that's also when we started the promotions in downtown again exactly yeah. mm -hmm. exactly Marilyn is an amazing public relations person it, um, she is. from start to finish you need anybody for anything at all when it comes to marketing and getting a message out. And uh, we've just had so many, so much fun over the years in exchange with uh, you know ideas and things like that. So what do you do? What's the latest thing that you're up to? Well, pretty much the same. Um, <clears throat> uh, after I left the downtown, I worked with a financial company for a while as their marketing director. That was really a lot of fun too because, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I wanted to be creative with ideas of how to uh, get the uh, financial company out there without actually advertising. So I created little, um, you know, programs and things that I could write about or have people from Boston come in and do something. And we would work on business mm -hmm. development week, that yes, kind of thing. Yes. And then after that, I started my own business, Marilyn Deschamps um, Public Relations. And I've been doing that for about 10 years or more. So. And you've been with the uh, West Pasco Chamber of Commerce for how long? Well, since 1983. Yeah. 1983. She, was, she was with the chambers when they were councils. Yes, back before when they were oh. chambers. Councils, and I started with the Hudson <coughs> Council because I was actually representing my mother's business at the time. Oh, I see. And uh, once I learned something really interesting, she volunteered me for a committee. Oh. <laughs> and I'm Thanks, thinking, Mom. what? Uh -huh. Anyway, when I got involved, and this is when King Healy was there, Judy Vincent, oh, these people were amazing. Yeah. So I found out I loved committee work. Because really? I, I love yes. working as a team. Absolutely. I want to work with as many people, getting ideas, streaming around. And uh, so I was there when they first created the Hudson Sea Fest in 1985. And uh, it was a wonderful thing. They assigned me to the arts and crafts. And so that eventually bloomed into um, art in the park when I was doing downtown back in the early 90s. And then that uh, grew up to become March on Art. And wow. we had March on Art. Oh, that was absolutely amazing. It was a fine art event. And it drew people from all over the Tampa Bay area and artists from all over the Southeast. That is really absolutely yeah, incredible yeah. because who would ever think that this this town here could like expand mm -hmm. into so many different wonderful major events, yeah. but it does. Well, and I was working with a group of people, and this is before I was on city council, and um, I was working with a group of people where we really wanted to try to create this into a cultural center. Yes, yes, yes. So, and it is. Still, still it, it's now. still a work in progress, but I'll tell you, when I, I lived up in this neck of the woods and raised my boys, there was nothing like this in downtown uh, Newport, Richie. You come here now, it's like the new Renaissance <laughs> area. Mm -hmm. I kid you not. Beautiful murals on the outsides of many of the buildings. Oh, yes. So much culture here. Mm -hmm. and, and you must have such a sense of satisfaction to be a major part of that. I do. I do. And I'm glad that I'm still involved. Yes. Even to this day, I um, did say I served on city council from 2005 to 2009. And then after that, I continue to remain involved with the city at some level. I'm good with friends with a lot of the staff over there. And then now we have Casey doing the Main Street program. Yes. And um, it's still happening 26 years later. Isn't and that I something? serve on their divine, uh, design committee. Has some fabulously uh, interesting and talented people on that. Oh, no doubt, no yeah. doubt. Yeah. yeah. So c would you ever thought back then that it would have evolved to where it has today? I. Uh, yeah, I believed it. Did in my you see heart, it? Yeah. But I wanted to see more. Mm -hmm. I want I my vision was a bit more evolved. But mm -hmm. that's okay. You know, in life you mm -hmm. go up and down and mm -hmm. mostly you just keep going up yep. as yep. much as you can. But I gotta tell you though, I, I cut my teeth on the marketing and especially the news release writing. 
back in those days because that was when print was really the king, right? Yes. So I could write about anything, about the events, about the people on my board, downtown businesses. So I wrote pieces for the Chamber Newsletter mm -hmm. and in for in the, you know the regular paper, Suncoast News, uh, you name it. And um, a lot of it went out. And I was just a ghost because it was always under staff. Right, right. <laughs> right. Yeah, yes, exactly. yes, yes, yes. Exactly. Because it was publicity. Right. And it was like mm -hmm. seeds. You just kind of pop it out there. But I learned how to give the publishers and the editors what they wanted so that they'd pick it up and actually run with it. Because if you make them work too hard, they'll just throw it away. <laughs> and this exactly. is, by the way, still true today. Yes. I, you know what, I've heard that. And, and here's, here's, what's, here's what's unique, and one of the reasons I wanted Marilyn to come on the show is, is that, and if, you, if you notice, I put um, old school approach to PR with a new school vibe to it. And here's the thing, she just hit the nail on the head. The more things change, the more they stay the same. So yes, they've gone, a lot of stuff's gone to electronic, but the bottom line, and Marilyn just had this conversation at breakfast yesterday, you still have to know how to write a press release mm -hmm. because a press release is like a resume when 500 people apply for the same job. They use certain things yes. just to, that they don't even, you know, it's three pages long, it goes in the garbage can right away. Mm -hmm. Press release, the same thing. There is an art to doing a mm -hmm. press release, mm -hmm. and yet a press release is along the lines of guerrilla marketing. You don't have to pay for clicks on on Facebook or mm -hmm, clicks on Google mm -hmm. or whatever they might be. <coughs> she has a she has an art to what she does that can take any business and say we need to get out into this market and her art which some people would call old school still works in today's market I and that's so what's agree. so unique about I so what she agree. does. Do I not call you from time to yes, time? You do. Who do I call <laughs> is my Marilyn because I you know what Old school doesn't necessarily no, mean no, a, a no, negative thing. All. No, I was telling Paul yesterday. Yeah. I said, See, now a news release is your basic. Your press release is your basic. Now you can blogify it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Or you can take the top part or the most interesting points and make it into a tweet. You yeah, know, uh, a Twitter you can, thing. You can <laughs> put on Twitter. And the other thing, Marilyn will agree, is that people don't spend a lot of time reading anymore. So you need somebody with her expertise to know how to get mm -hmm. the stuff in there that's important yeah. and yes. not make it 500 <laughs> words. No. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. You have to be careful the language you use, so to speak. Watch out for the adverbs or the adjectives. Don't get too flashy. Right. Um, or don't try to write an article and do their job. You right. just give them the facts, ma'am. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and then they <laughs> embellish it. it. So that, it, I mean, I was doing that class for the Rotary District, yes. and I even showed them, I said, look, it's even important to know what font to use mm -hmm. and to use a serif Safe. as compared to a um, sans serif, right. which is a font style. Uh, the reason is is that you want to get past those three seconds before the editor decides whether they're going right. to go with it. Right. Keep it really clean and use a lot of white space too. Yeah. So That's anyway, it's what I do. I do it pretty quickly I, and I work with a lot of not-for-profits in this area. And um, anyway, it's just something I like to do. Plus, I also work as a consultant. I can help people with marketing um, advice. I um, help people strategy plan. Um, you know, I can review content, websites, brochures. And, um, and I'm very reasonable. <laughs> and, and guys, That's always good to know. And yeah. here's the thing. She... What people overlook is they go, oh, well, you know, I'm, I'm blogging, I'm on this. There are certain things, as I just mentioned, I don't want to beat a dead horse here, but she serves a purpose to every type of business. I new, agree. New, and it's not that it's old, but new is not only always better because, oh, we're doing it this way now. No. If you listen to what she just said, she talked to you about a serif or, and, you know, real specifics, fonts, things like that, that you are, most mm -hmm. people don't even think about. Yeah. That's right. So Stuff I've learned over the last 30 some odd years. And you there's know? a lot to be said for that. Uh -huh. That is why you're good at yeah. it. That's why you do it in a short amount of time. And, yeah. you know, time is one of the most valuable commodities for and everyone today. And we have to know that you can't let your release run on. It's got to be... I usually try to keep it to one page, yes. one side, at the most, maybe a page and a half. I send it out sometimes. I mean, I send all my work out uh, email, yep. or I go on to the online sites. Mm -hmm. So it's not like I'm 
yeah. you know, putting Writing it with a pencil, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and a stamp on it. It. Yeah. I have blocks of names uh -huh. and already prepared, so I know what that release and who needs to see, who needs to see it. Tell yeah. people how they can get a hold of this awesome expertise that who, you me? offer. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the Shop Public Relations, and I have a phone number. I can Please. get that. Right? Absolutely. Please do. Uh, here in Newport Ritchie, seven two seven eight four nine. One six two six. Seven two seven eight four nine one six two six. Guys, we've got a treasure sitting right here in Newport Richie. You do. You, you want to move your business do. forward? This young lady can help you do it. I have a lot of um, uh, like historical knowledge of this area too. Oh, especially and institutional this area. knowledge. Yes, as well because I work on committees with the Pasco County government as well as our yes. city. So. Well, you gave me a tip with the Suncoast News, mm. not just recently for you know who, but yeah. years ago. And Carl Orff, Carl, if you're out there, yeah. hello, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. went and did a, a, some really good articles yeah. and thanks to your tips and everything. So wow. yeah, definitely get a hold of Marilyn because she will do you right every time. And like she says, she's reasonable, so that's <laughs> good. Well, it looks like it's time for us to take a commercial break. Have anything else to say, partner? No, thank you for being on with well, us Well, thank you for really having me. Thank you, pleasure. Marilyn. You're such a delight. I always well, love to see you. Well, thank you, Barb. And same to you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back after this with more on My Chamber TV, the heartbeat of our community. Enjoy tranquil seclusion in an eco-lover's paradise. Paddling through the mangroves where the only sounds you'll hear are the sounds of nature. Because you deserve to relax on vacation, visit Pasco County, Florida. Welcome back into my chamber TV. 
Are you going to start up again? Yeah, what the heck. I know. It's we just cra fun. we're just having a crazy day here. I don't know. It must be the barometric pressure with all that yeah. Matthew going on. Yeah. Yeah. Is that what it is? A little loopy here. Welcome in, everyone. West Pasco Chamber of Commerce is here, and we have so many great guests. Uh, Paul Freelander is uh, my co-host today, as well as always. And we also have Miss Pretty Chanel Castile. Chanel, you've been on before. Yes. And you are a busy gal with Cinema 6. Tell us about that. Um, we opened up seven years ago. Uh, we're a small six screen movie theater, and it's mostly family run. I mean, we're family owned. Me and my other half, uh, mostly family run. We have four teenage daughters, and they all work at the theater. Yeah. So, nice. And they have, you know, for the last seven years. So they started, you know, when they were like 12, you know, cleaning theaters and stuff like that. I mean, they're really um, neat kids. Yeah. yeah. And then my eight year old, you know, she started out pointing out the popcorn on the floor that we missed because we were too tall to see it. Whereas she was only like 18 months old when we started it, so she would point out, you know, no, you missed that one, so. Oh, that's funny. But yeah, so we're just, we're, we're small. We're trying to expand. Yes. Um, our biggest thing right now is, uh, you know, like this area in Pasco County is so, it's it's an older area. Yes. All the buildings are older. Sure. You know, there, right. there's a lot of development stuff going on right now where people are trying mm -hmm. to build up, build up. Right. And our building in particular is, I, I want to say it's like 35 years old. So we're trying to do some serious improvements on the inside. Sure. Um, like our bathrooms, for example, they're 35 years old. We clean them as much as we can, but 35-year-old tile, it just looks dirty, you know? Yeah. So we're trying to... Um, get all that taken care of, you know, renovate that. We want to put all new seating in there. We have, if you come in and you sit in the lobby, we have one of the chairs in there that we want to put in. They're reclining chairs, oh, you know, where nice. you go all oh, nice. the way back and you pop your feet up. Nice. You just kick back, you know, watch a movie. Uh, so we want to put those in there, all new drapes, new, more, you know, up-to-date sound and stuff like that. So right now we're doing um, a fundraiser. Uh, we're selling gift cards at the theater. Okay. And the discount um, on the cards is great. Like, uh, for example, I brought a flyer with me because I always forget what the pricing <laughs> and stuff is. Um, but, for example, you can get a $10 gift card for seven. $7.99. You get a $20 gift card for $14.99 and then a $30 gift card for $19.99. We had $45 cards, but we sold out of all of those. Nice. So, yeah, yeah they, good for you. They went pretty quick because there was a $15 break on that one. But, you know, even the $30 card for $20, bucks, you know, it's it's a great price. So, yes, it is. Um, we're doing that and all of that money is just sitting in our savings account to put down for the loan to get the stuff done because it's going to be... A chunk of change or to yeah. be able to do all and that. And you had to so. recently invest, not recently, I guess, but a couple of years now, you had to invest in We're the digital. We're going on year two of, of digital, digital, digital. digital projectors. That was $285,000. Yeah, it was yeah. like nice. $30,000, you know, $40,000. Yeah, it's a $30,000 computer, each one of those projectors. For all six, a one big for giant each theater. Box. It's My $30, goodness. Yeah. But you guys, walk upstairs and you look at this thing, you're like, you're 30 grand. <laughs> but you're still there. How many years seven, later? Seven. So seven you're doing years. something right. And you know what? My yeah, notes. We're trying. You're, you have quality entertainment at affordable price. Tell mm -hmm. me about that. Our tickets are only $4. What? You can't go to the movie theater no. and get tickets that, you know, low of a cost. Really? Um, our concession is amazing. We. They make the food. We have people that come out and they show up to the car, like the, the side of the. The door and they come in and they get popcorn for takeout like literally Are you serious yeah they want a large bag of popcorn to go because uh, <laughs> we sounds we, like you may need a drive-in now yeah we, <laughs> we have really good stuff you know our popcorn is made in coconut oil so it's healthier but it has a better flavor to it too oh, yeah and then we use real butter as opposed to that oil synthetic yeah. oil stuff that other theaters use so and then we have a full kitchen and we make everything to order we have a full make table we make fresh pizzas we press out fresh dough yeah um, oh, you know we do like french fries and chicken fingers and stuff like that but the best part about it is when you come in you walk in and it's 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 a very homey atmosphere it's it not cold it's not corporate and you know you walk in and we're always like hey how are you how you doing today what are you coming to see and then they order their food and we bring it to them while they're watching their movie they've got so, the th they've got the set up now so there's a table yeah, a little bit little, smaller than this but it's a two foot table there's a table right next to where you can between the chairs so you can sit there and eat your food this is what the hometown is all about yes. mm -hmm. i mean that is so inviting i mean you're just you're making me relax. Just think about this because everything does go so corporate and mm -hmm. so commercial and gets away from from what what you're doing. Yeah, this so is our amazing. Our whole point is family. You yes, know, yes. You need to get your kids off their phones. 
get them off their iPad, stop yeah. playing video games, come inside, sit down with your family, order a pizza, you know, and sit and hang out with your family. You can get a family of four and a large pizza and drinks for 30 bucks. Yeah. And come in and have dinner and a movie with your family. You can't do that anywhere else. Including the tickets? Including, including the, the tickets. tickets. I was going to yeah. say, you can't, even get, the, yeah, gonna say you can't even get in the people. door anywhere else for 30 bucks. No, yeah. I, I, I'm going to tell you something. I stopped going to the movie theater. My husband, the last time we went, it was like just the two of us. It was well over $40. Oh, I yeah. go, mm -hmm. see ya. I'm not yeah. going back. I'm going to just watch the movies when they come on TV, yep. and that's it. Yeah, but it's this makes me want to go. Up so much. And, this, and this had been just a little background on this because I just, they, they have to understand this is, a, this is a true West Pasco type of a story because it this is. theater had been closed for how long? Well, it's, it's changed it's, hands like five times, times in the last 30 years. And, no and, kidding. And, yeah. and this, this young couple or two young people, Jason and Chanel, came in and said, Let's let's take this up. Let's make it a family-oriented mm -hmm. type of a business. Let's make it cost-effective. She didn't even mention the things they do for first responders and for military. I think they have a yeah. Their tickets are only two dollars. Only two dollars if you're military or a first mm -hmm. responder. Wow. And, and they and they put their heart and soul into it. More importantly, they've also put their money into it. But uh, this is the second time we've had Chanel on, and there's a reason yes. for that because. Yes. She's got a great story. She and Jason have really put everything, and as you heard, the family has put mm -hmm. everything into making this work. Mm -hmm. And you know what? We've we've come up with different ways, but we need people to come out and mm -hmm. and like she said, get the kids away from the telephones and from the texting mm -hmm. and from the computers and from the video games. Come out, just enjoy a nice family yeah. evening, family afternoon. Um, I know you had some other special stuff. I don't know if it was just during during the summer they offered a free movie. Yeah, for we do the, free movies over the summertime. And, I'm trying to see if I can put together um, like a Halloween themed, you know, a special like one day fun. at the end of the month, you know, show like two kids Halloween movies and then two adult Halloween movies. But there's a lot of red tape when it comes to the film companies and stuff. Sure. So it's, it's a lot of communication back and forth to see what you can and can't play as far as that stuff goes. Where are you located? Uh, we are in the Longhorn Office Depot Plaza on the corner of Embassy and 19. We're tucked back in the corner, right in the corner. so it's kind of hard to see us. Okay. But we're there. Yes. But you're there. We're there. You know, we're open Tuesday through Sunday. We're closed on Mondays. Um, unless the kids have off of school. Like if Pasco has off school a day, we're open. The kids got to have some place to go. The parents can only handle my <laughs> home for so long. You got to go out of the house. It's the Cinema 6. The the cinema six cinema six com. Com. Yes. Is, is, our the, website. is the website. Very good. But Really, I mean, putting their heart and soul back into the community. It's, and I know, oh, I don't wonderful. know if they still do it, but they even had a thing, I think I mentioned the last time, where they where they had a, something on Saturday for kids that were autistic. Mm, I remember yeah. that. You the talked the about that last time. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Unfortunately, we haven't had many kids' movies coming out lately in order to be able to do it. But um, this weekend, we're picking up The Secret Life of Pets. That is a great movie. It's very down-to-earth and easy for the kids to get into. So I want to see if I can set one up for two weeks from now in order to be able to do another I one. So. And, just, and remember, guys, I mean, it's inexpensive enough already, but a $10 card for $7.99, a $20 card for $14.99, $30 card for $19.99, and, and they ran they house. ran out of the forty five dollar card, so that must that tells you yeah. that tells you what how exciting people are about this and that that's for movies and yeah. the food and anything it's else. It's for movies correct? and concession. The only yep. thing it doesn't cover is the kitchen, because the kitchen is a lot more expensive cost wise than it is for concession items or whatever. Oh, for concession, yeah, I see so what you mean. For okay. Tickets and concession, and you don't have to use it all in one visit. On the back of the cards, there's little balance boxes, whatever you have left on it, we just mark it in there. You know, but you can get them on our website or you can come in house and get them. Um, you know, we so have how that cool going is right that? now. So I mean just think about when was the last time you would, or if you ever, have heard of a concept like this? I mean, good old fashioned, old, old school, I should say, but not really. Yeah. It's, yeah. I mean, no, you're keeping, really, really you're keeping, you're keeping, you're kicked back up, you know, to be, I, I you know, know, as current as we possibly can. I know. You know I got an idea, guys. How about a, a how about having a birthday party for somebody and, oh, the birthday and, and parties invite are 40 or 50 oh, of your friends. I bet that is so fun. Can you imagine and having 40 or 50 of your friends or yes. an anniversary party or yes. just something unique? But home cooked food at the yes. movie theater, and it's not really? It's like simple birthday parties. Like we do Xbox, part, Xbox parties, PlayStation parties. You bring in your, your gaming system. Can you imagine sitting back with a bunch of your friends with a 20 foot screen in front of you with your game See? controller sitting there playing your game with all the explosions and stuff going on around you with different things? We had a Minecraft party for um, one of our families and they're building this big massive thing up on the screen you see the look on the kids faces they're like these blocks are so huge 
Mm, you know, and it's it's funny, you know. But yeah, we do all kinds of different stuff. And your birthday parties, you have the whole theater to yourself. You know, so you can invite as many people as you want. If you only want five people in there, heck, you don't even birthday party. If you want to book the place out, just we had a um, anniversary party, and See? the woman's favorite movie was Sixteen Candles. They brought the DVD in and played it up on the theater, and he surprised his wife, and she just couldn't believe, you know. It's something that simple was on such a grand scale, right. and it was just the best time. Neat. She that loved it. Is, that is so much fun. Chantel, I can't thank you enough. We'll have to have you back because I we really want to help get your word out there. That's how that's what we do here in My Chamber TV yes. is raise the awareness on what's happening in the community. And I'll tell you, this gal is dedicated with her, her whole crew. Yeah, including the, the family, yep. the your, your daughters, yes. right? Every, yeah, they're all there. That is. And, so I mean, with the one employee that I have, Chance, he's been with us for the last five years. I've known him since he was 10 years old. Oh, so I gave him his first job, and he's still there. You it's know, so that's got to tell you something. You yeah. know, if I'm able to keep my employees. You know, he's 22 years old now, and wow, you're doing such a great, yeah, great service. Me, you, know? you really are. Well, thank you so thank much, you. and good luck to you. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks for joining us, and don't forget. Go see a movie. Good homemade food and popcorn with coconut oil and real butter. I I'm sold. Sign mm -hmm. me up. We'll be back in a few. Enjoy tranquil seclusion in an eco-lover's paradise. Paddling through the mangroves where the only sounds you'll hear are the sounds of nature. Because you deserve to relax on vacation, visit Pasco County, Florida. And we're back again. And we're behaving ourselves. We are really behaving ourselves. <laughs> well, we're having fun. We certainly are. Thanks for joining us on 
My Chamber TV. We happen to have uh, West Pasco Chamber of Commerce. A lot of things going on this weekend. We keep talking about Bike Fest, which is the perfect segue for our next guests, who happen to be Gary and Karen Amons. Is it Amonson or Amonson? Yes. Yes, but to both. Okay, Amundsen. very good. <laughs> Welcome. You've Thank got you. some really serious history in the community, and I love your shirts about Got Lobster. So That's tell it. me about what you're doing, and I understand you're going to be at Bike Fest this weekend. We will be at Bike Fest. You want to start? Oh, go right ahead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a couple of years ago, we came up with this idea about having a food truck. And so we worked on it for just about two years before we actually put everything together, and we started it, launched it last November. Uh -huh. And so we do events. Last weekend we were in, in Lakeland. This weekend we'll be in Bike Fest, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And uh, we all use just Maine lobster. We ship it down from Maine. And all of our products are, are genuine. There's no fillers or anything. And so it's been, it's been great, the community. We have a great following of people from not only from the area, but from New England that are down here at different times of the year. And so it's, it's fantastic what you know, the community has done to uh, kind of open up towards us. We do private parties at houses and, nice. and uh, with the Christmas holidays coming up, we can do holiday parties for them, that type of thing. And uh, I, I'm going I'm to ask you a question because you guys, and please, 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 please don't take this the wrong way, but you, you guys aren't youngsters. Just right? like I'm not a youngster, Barbara's not a youngster. But Excuse what me, you, we're Barbara's all youngsters. <laughs> what was what was the? I know you said you started this process two years ago. What what was the driving force I, I, You took you the words guys? out of my mouth. I wanted what, to know too. Yeah, and what, why what, lobster, well, Karen? Please. Because my working career started at 15 in the restaurant business. Oh. And I spent okay. about 25 years in hospitality, restaurants, hotels, country clubs, and my. My family started their vacation times in Maine oh. when my mother was 11 years old. She would ride her horse on the beach up in a gun quit Maine. Oh, and nice. so as she grew up in Maine and married my father and they started having family, Maine is home. For all oh, of us. So nice. this is part. This, this is, is part what of I grew your up passion. With. Yeah. No, what? I knew there had to be a story yeah. there, right? Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. That that's really, really. And you can neat. tell by that sad look on her face that she's really not enjoying herself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> what better than lobster? Come well, on, right? You know, really. It's true. And when you were saying just before the show about how people come from all over. And from social media, and you sending out your blasts on social media, you're getting a lot of business from that. Social media is probably the best thing that ever happened to food trucks mm -hmm. because of sure. the fact that we can update automatically, you know, at a moment's notice as to where we are, what we're doing, and what our menu is. So what happens is, is when all of that comes out, then we have these following of a lot of people who check to see where we're going to be. And so we've had people where we've been at First Friday in Tarpon Springs that have come oh, up nice. from St. Pete just to get a lobster roll. And nice. one guy came from Tampa just to get a lobster roll. Okay, so I want to know why these ro lobster rolls without giving out any secrets. But what is it about these that is the driving force for your customers? Well, there's no secret ingredients. Oh. We use only 100% pure Maine lobster meat. That's it? One is mixed with butter, one is mixed with mayonnaise, depending if you like a traditional Maine lobster roll is made with mayonnaise. There are a lot of restaurants where you might get things like onions or celery or things like Fancy that in it. Up, yeah. And we don't put any of that in it. It's just straight lobster meat, mayonnaise so or butter, little salt and pepper. By so you way, taste I, it I better, get, right? I get the one with the butter, you get the one with the mayonnaise that's been sitting out. <laughs> and we ship the rolls down from New England, <laughs> so it's the traditional oh, and lobster they are, roll. I was wondering roll. about that. Yeah, toasted on both sides and filled with lobster. The other thing is, is that not only do we not put onions and all this other stuff in there, but there are places that have lobster rolls, you know, for 9.95 with fries. Well, it's not. 
it's there may be a couple little pieces it's of lobster, lobster and the yeah. rest is fake imitation lobster. Karen, really? Why don't, you, why don't you grab one of those and hold it up so they can get a close up of what that looks like? Because that is just unbelievable. If you see the size of the the chunks of these lobsters. Oh yeah, that that's amazing. This is. Um, what a lot of people refer to as a Connecticut roll. Uh huh. You know, tip it a little and, bit more. And um, the Connecticut yeah, thanks, roll Gary. is hot lobster meat and butter. This one here is the traditional Maine lobster roll. When you go to Maine, they don't even know really about those. Everything in Maine is mixed with mayonnaise. Uh huh. And. Um, like I said, some peop some restaurants will add other things to it, but ours is just the lobster meat with Hellman's mayonnaise. And that's a standard, there's a lot in there. Look at that. There's a ton in there. Oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. The funny. other thing is, we have other items. You yeah, know, I was going to talk, talk to us about the lobster grilled cheese. The lobster, with, mm. there's a grilled cheese festival going on, and we did one in Tampa in Ybor. And we had 50 to 60 people waiting in line. Are you serious? We ran out of food. And because people could not believe this. Well, Karen has, you know, because of her background and everything, had put that together. And then we also have a friend who's a chef. And so they put together a lobster burger that we did for another event. We'll have it this weekend. And also the new item, it's egg. Havarti cheese and lobster on a croissant. Oh my on a breakfast goodness! Croissant. So nice Whoa. breakfast sandwich. No, where you're so, going to be all weekend. And it's, <laughs> and it's fantastic. Mm, and we're, yum. we're going to debut that at Bike Fest this weekend. Awesome. Oh, you are? Yes. You are, oh my yes. goodness. Yes. And we do make all of our soups homemade. We have a lobster bisque, and we use this lobster meat in the lobster bisque. We'll have that at Bike Fest this weekend. And we make a New England clam chowder, all oh, from scratch. Yum. We don't just get something frozen and heat it up in a pan. Everything, all the soup's and, made and from scratch. And I'm guessing scratch. the way you make it, with the love that you take, that your lobster mac and cheese is probably next to none. It's awesome. Oh my goodness. Four, four cheeses. I'm getting hungry. Ooh, That's, yeah. so, so besides the events, is this mainly what you do? Pardon the pun. <laughs> but uh, is that, do you go around to the different events or do you have one stationary area that you're at with your food truck? No, we do multiple events. But okay. if we're in the area, sometimes we're just right on Seven Springs Boulevard, just south of Preen Ranch Road. We'll set up there. What? That's right around the corner from me. There you That's go. That, that, awesome. That, that you didn't need to know. I didn't need to know. <laughs> <laughs> but if you look on Gut Lobster on Facebook, okay. it tells you where you are. It tells you where. She'll put the menu out and tell oh. you where we're going to be that week. And she'll also put on there some of the upcoming events that we're going to be at. That is so neat. I love entrepreneurs, and for you to dig up from your past something that's near and dear to your heart, no wonder you put all that love into the food, and it makes such a big difference. And it's Maine lobster. Yes, and it's, it's Maine. Nothing else. Nothing and guys, else. real quick, because I know we're about out of time. Okay. I, I notice here you have chips. Do you have other sides that you do with it, or is, that, is, do you keep, is it really just about the lobster? These are um, Cape Cod. Chips. Yes, and that's why I think. Gotcha. <laughs> but of course. <laughs> right. gotcha. So um, when we serve our sandwiches, uh, all the rolls, they're all, they all come with Good. chips. And just keep it nice and simple, and yeah. it's all about the lobster. I think that's awesome. Did, we, did I ask what, how much they are? What do you charge for those? Um, these rolls at Bike Fest um, this weekend are each $15. Okay. For lobster. Yeah, for lobster. And we're talking about serious yeah. lobster. For, for the about real deal. Yeah. We're yes. talking about the real deal this yeah. weekend yeah. here yeah. at yeah. Bike Fest. It's all real. Oh, my goodness. So, and what time does Bike Fest start? It starts 5 o'clock tomorrow night, uh, Friday night, Friday I night? believe. Friday night? Okay. Then it's all day Saturday and then a half a day on Sunday until 5 o'clock. We have the brightest red trailer. It's it's Corvette red <laughs> that I course. had it painted in. You can't miss it and, when you and, come into the park. And if oh, you come out cool. and you tell Gary and Karen you saw them on my chamber TV, they'll give you two lobster rolls for thirty dollars. <laughs> you cannot Perfect beat deal. that deal. <laughs> that is exciting. Well, congratulations for being a, a really cool entrepreneur and <clears throat> in, in doing what you're doing because you. you're the only game in town. No wonder you're so busy. Well, thanks to the chamber and you know this show and the other things that come up. And one of the things that 
foot trucks need to be as part of their community. Yes. We Thank are you. part of our community of Newport Ritchie Clearly. and West Pasco. We always have been. And, you know, so we do a lot of volunteer items and things that we do through our life. But, you know, other people need to be involved with their community. Thank Step you. up, yeah. jump in, and the benefits to you will come back to you every day. You I'm know. so glad to hear you say that because you've been quite a, a long time member with the West Pasco Chamber of Commerce. So. No, a new member with the West for this one. For this one, but, but, for this but, one, but, but you were with them before with another yeah. business, so yeah. that's really great. You stuck with them, and even in spite of Paul himself. And, and, no, I'm just kidding. And, and a fellow Rotarian, so. Yeah, right. That's so cool. Well, good luck this weekend. I hope you have plenty of lobster. We have plenty of lobster. Awesome. Good. Come on out. Well, come on out to Bike Fest in downtown Newport, Ritchie. This weekend, you are going to have a blast. It's going to be sunny weather. I just know it. So we'll be right back after this. We have another great segment. Talk about some really beautiful entertainment of the arts. Wait till you see what we have coming up next in our fifth segment with Paul and I. seclusion in an eco-lover's paradise. Paddling through the mangroves where the only sounds you'll hear are the sounds of nature. Because you deserve to relax on vacation, visit Pasco County, Florida. Hi everyone, welcome back into My Chamber TV, the heartbeat of our community, and it is truly the heartbeat today. I'm Barbara Marville Kelly, your host, and my co-host is Mr. Paul Friedlander. And it's and our fifth segment today. And I'm it's been telling an absolutely you, awesome four segments so far, and this one's going to even be better. I know. Sometimes <laughs> you do kind of save the best for last, and I was delighted to uh, hear that Denise Isaacson is with us here to talk about talk about community, the Ritchie Community Orchestra. I just took myself way back into my, my high school days and all of the, 
what I remember, <coughs> all good stuff about mm -hmm. the arts. Tell us about what you're doing. Well, the Ritchie Community Orchestra is uh, a symphony orchestra. The Pasco County actually has its own symphony orchestra right here in town. It's a community group made up of musicians from our area here in Newport Ritchie, Pasco County. We reach out to Pinellas County, to Hernando County, also to Hillsborough County, and all these musicians come together to perform and do what they love best, playing music music for our community and we do a series of six different shows every season. Uh, we do three dinner shows at Spartan Manor here in Newport Ritchie and we do three shows out at the Center for the Arts at River Ridge. Right. All different shows, all with professional uh, soloists and a wide, wide variety of styles of music and great entertainment, very reasonably priced. I, I was cool. just looking at that. I mean, $15 a, a ticket for some of these? Yes. Yeah. Seriously, that our, is very nice. shows at the theater nice. are, are $15, which includes the sales tax. So it's it's a great deal. Uh, and no brainer, you've yeah. got a full symphony orchestra, 50-piece symphony with uh, guest soloists. Uh, we have a Ritchie Community Chorus, which performs with us oh. as well. Uh, oh, 25 wow. voice choir, and we're looking wow. for new members. So really? <laughs> if you sing or would love to be part of a, a group that sings and performs with a symphony orchestra, something that you don't rarely, you rarely get to do. Uh, we'd love to have you join us. You just have to read music and be a, 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 an experienced singer. But they can get in touch with me either through our orchestra website, uh, my phone number's up there too, and uh, richiecommunityorchestra.com. Very easy to find us. And, nice. Uh, yes. We have a, a, a hard brochure here, or if they get in touch with us through the e uh, website, I can email you um, a copy of oh, it. Oh, that's there you good. Go. Make so. it simple. Oh, it's yeah. very easy. Barb, one of the reasons. <clears throat> Denise and I, since I met her, gosh, just a little over a year ago, maybe closer to two years when I first started, she was very instrumental in our newsletter because our newsletter had an area called theater schedule. So it had the Suncoast Ritchie Theater and it had Jimmy's Theater in there when he had the studio theater open. And, and Denise looked and she goes, shouldn't this be the cultural arts <laughs> schedule? <laughs> and, and you know what? So wonderful because not only did it open the door to her, it opened the door to a few other cultural uh, singing groups, and we have a theater that does magic. So it re she really opened the door to a lot of our chamber members. And the one thing we talk about is, you heard her say it, believe it or not, we have an orchestra, a symphony orchestra here in Pasco County, and so we need to, one of the reasons to bring her on here today was to make it an unbest Yes. Kept secret. <laughs> yes, and, yes, it's so true. And yes. if you wouldn't mind sharing, since we have with the other ones, this give a little history of this. It didn't just pop up overnight. Oh, absolutely not. The Ritchie, the Ritchie Community Orchestra has been uh, a figment of, of, of Pasco County now for uh, since 1957. It was formed as a trio. Uh, Helen Hartzell and uh, a couple of her friends uh, uh, got together and they loved playing music. She was a violinist. And of course, you know how it is with musicians. You know, we all have friends and everybody wants to play because <laughs> we love to play. That's what we do. And uh, so she, that attracted more, more and more friends of theirs and musicians. And they got a little ensemble together and they called it the Ritchie Instrumental Ensemble. And they would perform at churches and local uh, civic centers here around the area. And it kept growing because everybody who heard it, oh, well, yeah, I, I used to play a violin when I was in school, and I'd, I'd like to do that again, you know. And it's it so cool. It kept growing and growing. And uh, I moved to this county in 1972, <laughs> and now I'm starting my 44th year with the Ritchie Community Orchestra. Oh, my goodness. My goodness is right. <laughs> yes. And your instrument of specialty is? In the orchestra, I play clarinet, but I'm a woodwind doubler. I'm a professional musician, and I play... Uh, flutes, clarinets, saxes, bassoon. I play quite a few different instruments and, and I'm fortunate enough through the orchestra I honed my skills because I started as a teenager and now I play professionally all over the state for touring artists, stars like Johnny Mathis and Bernadette Peters, uh, cool Temptations. And four I've had a, a quite a, a wonderful very blessed career of being a professional musician, all due to this little community orchestra. Isn't that amazing, though? So it, it really, uh, it's a wonderful group. Uh, the people in it are absolutely, they, they have my heart and soul because, well, I've worked for it um, 
all my life practically and uh, it's just been a joy it's a joy to be part of it to to stand on that stage uh, with those those terrific musicians who are giving everything to bring what they love into the community such wonderful music and and don't be afraid just because it's a symphony it's it's not all that long hair boring <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no no we are uh, really a pops orchestra we do a lot of movie music uh, Pirates of the Caribbean oh, and, nice. and uh, uh, Broadway shows. This year we're featuring Jimmy Ferraro, who you just mentioned. Yes. Uh, he and his wife, Dieta Rowe, will be performing with us in April for oh, nice. our Broadway Gold concert. What oh, is he awesome. going to be doing? He's going to be singing songs from Fiddler on the <gasps> Roof, of uh, course. Who he toured singing. with yes. for, what, for 10 years, right? He did. He starred in the Broadway uh, revival in 2012, and uh, Dieta is also going to be with him, and she's going to be singing, and we're going to be doing doing songs from Guys and Dolls. It's just going to be... A, now, when a, a is that going to be? April 23rd. Oh, we next, have to have them on. Next, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, it'll be fun. We've got wonderful... This uh, We're opening our season November 13th, 13th. out at River Ridge with uh, yep. the Great American Songbook. Now, everybody absolutely loves that music. Oh, yeah. Um, we're having... Uh, Tom Torado is coming in from out of state to sing... Sinatra, oh. uh, and, oh. and I don't know anybody who doesn't love the those no. songs. I uh, know. You know. Come fly with me, yes. and I've got you under my skin. Yes. Great classics, and uh, our own Richie Community Chorus is going to be performing as well, and we're going to do some great Fats Waller. This joint oh. is jumping, nice. and everything. Gershwin, awesome. a huge oh, Gershwin wow. medley, and wow. Harold Arlen, who wrote uh, "Over the Rainbow." We're going to do some of his songs. Uh, Come on, get happy, and uh, Paper Moon. Well, it'll be a wonderful yeah. show. Of, of Denise, wonderful did, music. In spirit, and this is probably going to—I think I know what your answer is going to be. But are the are all the the, the the assisted and the independent living facilities aware of what that you guys are in this community for their pay, their <laughs> guests and their patrons or their residents, as I should say? I don't think very many people are aware of what's in this community, Paul. I really don't. I and, agree with her, and that's why shows like this are wonderful because it gets it helps us get the word out. Yes, that. Uh, there's an awful lot to do here in Pasco County, and, yes. and why drive to fight all that traffic to go to Ruth Ecker Hall or, or downtown Tampa Up for to heaven's the sakes? Exactly, uh, and pay huge amounts of money because yep. you can see our shows fifteen dollars out at River Ridge uh, for wonderful uh, two hours of entertainment, and uh, we have our dinner shows, great restaurant Spartan Manor for forty dollars. Forty dollars for a Where dinner can show. You get go see a that Christmas show. Forty dollars for dinner. And a show, and we do that yeah. at, at December the the eleventh is our yep. our show this year. We're doing one in March. Very excited about our rock guests. around the clock. Rock around the clock. Rock around oh. the clock. And we have the famous Paul Wilson, uh, the movie star and son of John and Mary Kay Wilson, and brother to Patrick Wilson, who starred in Phantom of the Opera and many other nice. shows, is going to be our guest, and he's going to be doing a tribute to Elvis. Oh my goodness, the that's king. Be Fun. Absolutely, and that's in March, March 19th. We'll also uh, do a Mother's Day dinner there you concert. Go. May 14th, what a mm -hmm. nice thing to do May for 14th, your mom. May 14th, that's oh, right. Know. You will not find a better deal than $40 to, for Take a your... dinner and a show for your mom or or your other special lady in your life. I, I tell you, I can have you, we could sit here for hours and yes. talk to you. We only have about a minute <laughs> remaining to close. We should do a special entertainment section we should. every single month. Let's do that. Okay. Even if it's Put an it extra 15-minute segment, and start getting more of the. I had no idea, and Absolutely. I raised yeah. my family here. Yes, I had no idea. Well, all they have to do go to our website, RichieCommunityOrchestra.com, and you can find out all about the shows we have coming up. You can purchase them right on the website with nice. a, with your credit card, or if you don't have a computer, you can get in touch with me through the Chamber of Commerce. They all have my yes. phone number there, and we'll be glad to give them. Uh, give you my number if you call the West Pasco Chamber of Commerce and they will be and glad to hook you up with if me. you have some kind of a fundraiser coming up and need an orchestra or a smaller section of an orchestra mm -hmm. to Single play for that, yes. they, are, they are a 501c3 corporation. Got that back in 1988. Yes. Guys. Let's not let's let's get out there and support the cultural oh, arts we have in kidding. our community. Because there is nothing like music 
to nurture your soul. I kid well, you live not. Live music is yeah. where live. it's it, at. It is. It resonates right with <laughs> you. It's healing. Well, it starts right from when you were first conceived, that heartbeat. You have Thank that, you. You have the rhythm inside of I you think. right from childhood. There you go. And this I love just, her. just expands <laughs> all the way up to, to the sheer pleasure of hearing that symphony orchestra playing. It's, it's an indescribable thing that just I fills know. you with joy and anticipation. And I hope everybody will come out and share that with us because it's it's really worth it, folks. It really well, with excitement like that, I don't know how anybody can turn it down, <laughs> that's for sure. But we're definitely going to have Denise back. We're going to be talking about all the different shows that are coming up, but check it out. And I want to thank you for joining us here thank on you. My Chamber TV. I want to thank you so much, thank Denise, for, for raising there. the awareness and getting us <laughs> all excited about music, live music, that That's is. It. Paul, my friend, thank you. Thank you, young lady. We had a lot of fun, fun today. I will see you next week with another Chamber. Thanks for joining us today on My Chamber TV, the heartbeat of our community.